They say they know But they don't know what they They say they know But they don't know What's up YouTube? It's your boy Whammy Welcome back to another video on the channel ladies and gentlemen listen listen i am extremely excited right now okay extremely as you can see and as you can see by the title guys i am building my first ever pc now this took me a long long time to get every single part understand the parts that i'm getting and which one will fit, which one will work. I learned, I watched like tons of YouTube videos and now I'm finally here with all the accessories that I need to build this PC and start my career on gaming and other things on the channel guys. Listen, the channel's gonna go from number five to all the way to number 10. And, and you're gonna see the improvement on this channel and I'm just so, so happy and excited to show y'all what I got y'all it's literally what i've been working on for the past two years guys you won't believe it i've been working on this for two years two years ago i did thought about changing my content on my channel and i realized i need a pc and guess what happened covid covid happened the crash market went up i don't know what happened i learned so much that the prices for the pc has skyrocketing I couldn't afford it but i worked my butt off y'all guys for two years straight trying to understand what i'm gonna do for the for this channel and for my career guys so i'm just so excited to do that if y'all new to the channel you want to see daily content such as this guys all you gotta do is press that subscribe and also press that bell to notify you each time i upload a video and while you're at it, go follow me on my social medias guys instagram snapchat and twitter and yes i am new on tiktok so go follow me there at whammy ham disclaimer disclaimer before we even jump into the video guys this is not no tech channel i do not know a lot about technology with the pcs i just know i watch a tons of youtube videos to understand what I'm building and so y'all can see the process and what I'm gonna do for this channel guys so yes I got my laptop right over there so I'm gonna be watching a step-by-step -step process of how to build a PC and hopefully y'all like the accessories that I got here to help you build your own PC and understand what y'all gonna do for your channel or gaming or whatever you trying to do guys so listen here we about to jump right into it I'm about to get a video for a step-by-step -step video of how to build PC. Y'all gonna see me firsthand doing it real live, okay? Like, I might mess up, it might not work, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna get it right, okay? Let's get it! Okay guys, step one is to take your motherboard, whatever motherboard that you have to for your PC, take it out and place it on your table, guys. I'm gonna try and attempt to copy what I'm watching so y'all can understand everything I'm doing. And you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be a journey. Alright guys, so this is as you can see, this is the X57 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi motherboard, gaming motherboard. Um, the reason why I picked this is because it one it got Wi-Fi and also it goes with everything I got as you can see by you know the thumbnail I got a course air built you know what I'm saying custom white everything is white so I'm trying to go with that theme or what I want for my build so as I can see on this video he says to open your box so let's open the box and let's get everything out that's in your PC guys let's get it Bro, I'm just so excited that I'm actually do doing this right now because y'all do not know how much it really went into, you know, getting the parts, getting the PC together. In the box, guys, it's a motherboard, of course, but also it comes with, you know, a little bit of wires. You know what I'm saying? Do not know what this is. Oh, is this the Ethernet cord? Oh, it comes with that? I did not know. I did not know that. Take everything that you need. For your big PC manually, but you already know what I'm doing. What the heck is this? Okay, so the video said to take the motherboard out the bag and do not touch the top or the bottom of the motherboard. Do not put your prints all over the motherboard, which again, you know, damaging your PC. Um, you know, so let's 
easily do this. I'm going. This is going to be a ghetto video. I already know. I'm going to mess up. Okay, so I'm going to try and attempt it on my first try, but. All right, guys, so I'm going to attempt to show y'all um, close up of how the motherboard is up close. Like I said, I only got this motherboard because it got Wi-Fi and also it goes with the, you know, the pump, the, uh, you know, the accessories that I need for my PC build. You see, do not touch the top or the bottom of it. This thing looks sweet. I'm not going to lie. This thing looks sweet. So I'm going to continue watching the video. Okay, so he said to take it and put it on the top of the motherboard box, y'all. So put it in on top of the motherboard box. So put it on top of the box. I'm going to actually zoom in. All right, there we go. That's way, that's much better. Y'all can actually, you know, get everything. So the second thing is to get your processor. Um, I'm going with an AMD. I'm not going to, you know, attempt to like show y'all how to do a you know a, a different processor but i'm going with amd so so i got my amd right here i'm going with the um the ryzen 7 so he said to if you got a ryzen a ryzen because i'm only doing rise uh like amd y'all guys so if you got a a ryzen amd processor it will have a like a little arrow on the edge of it Yep. Damn, bro. Hold on, I gotta show y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whoop. The, the chips. It's like, everything is like the heart of the computer, so this is really important. You gotta match the arrow that's on your motherboard, y'all. So, I'm going, I'm following the video. You open the, the lever up. Oh my gosh, so like I I do not want to break it. Okay. Okay, it went straight down, y'all. It went straight down. And now I remember that he go back to it and close it. But yeah, lock it in place. Boom. Look, the processor is done. The processor is done. You got the you got the process, the AMD processor is locked in. That's one part down. <laughs> like seven more parts to go y'all so let's continue step two is to install your ram now i went out and got me a corsair ddr4 four sticks of ram of eight gigabytes so it equals up to 32 gigabytes of ram guys this is powerful enough for my pc build because i not just film and do games and edit and stuff like that but I need something powerful for my editing into render. So this is enough RAM for me, for my, you know, for my PC built guys. It's easy, you can go out and get like an eight, but they recommend like 16. I went out and got 32. So let's install the RAM. Now, because I got four, four RAM, I wish y'all can watch the video with me, but I'm teaching you everything that he's saying a little bit, but because I got four sticks of RAM, I can just fill it up. I, I don't have to do the dual channel. The dual channel is when you have to put the one of the RAMs in the middle and then the outside. I got four sticks of RAM, so I just can fill them up. And this is RGB. You got it gonna, it's gonna have like a little notch to it right there in the middle. So you gotta find the notch. Now, I think step two is done, or step three, whatever you want to call it. But the RAM sticks is placed it. You know what I'm saying? All they placed it, all locked. Looking good so far. Let's let's continue. SSD. I did go out and got an SSD and a hard drive as well. I went out and got me a 970 Evo Plus, one terabyte of SSD storage. Yep. There you go. SSD is complete. You know what I'm saying? 
Let's go to step five. I think it's step five. Okay, now he going to the cooler insulation, y'all. All right, so he's using a three fan one. I'm using a two fan one. So hopefully it's not that complicated. Um, hopefully he teach me everything I do need to know about this one. I'm going to open this up and please be gentle with any of your, you know, your accessories to your PC, guys. You do not want to damage or break anything. And then you got to go out and get a replacement or rebuilt or whatever you're trying to do. But these parts do cost a lot, so I do not want y'all, you know, breaking your stuff. I'm going with the AMD. The AMD processor. They got different ones that came out the box, y'all. Um, you got the Radeon, Intel, and AMD. I'm going to link down the video that I'm watching, y'all. I'm looking at everything he's doing. I do not want to mess up um, building this PC. All right, so like I said, guys, I got a Corsair 4000D 4, um, tower airflow case. Yeah, guys, listen, like I don't know all the scent that the, the, the word play. All right, so I got this case right here and he's saying that we got screws inside the case, which I didn't even know. So he's saying that I got screws right here, and I didn't even know. He take he said I gotta get the motherboard insulation screws. Okay, it had to be this one right here, this bag right here, bro. This is like building a Lego set. You know what I'm saying? So he said uh, something about stand off screws that's already located in the case. Um, as you can see right here. Got stands off screws like I did not know it takes a lot to put into a PC y'all Alright guys, so I just got done screwing the screws for the motherboard to be inside the PC now I'm about to see what's the next step is all right so i'm about to install the fans and connect it to the radiator right, so i'm just installing the little fans on the radiator all right guys so i just got done screwing the screws for the radiator they said to turn us back over to the top and remove this top panel right here so I am trying to connect the radiator to the top of the PC build. All right guys, so I just got, I just um, connected the radiator or the liquid cooler to the top of the, you know, the PC. So I'm about to see how to, you know, connect this part, this little part right here with to the, you know, the processor. Okay, so I got multiple fans. I even went out and got some more LED fans, which I did open, and it got three sets of fans in here. But it also comes with a, like a port. Okay guys, quick update. I installed the fans um, to the front panel. Cause I did get some LED lights right here. The only thing that's gonna like get me y'all is the cable management. Like I said in the beginning, getting the wires to where it's supposed to be and also like set it right so it won't be, you know, so it can look nice. But I just installed the fans to the front panel. So that's something I don't, don't gotta worry about. I'm running, running down to like two more boxes. The last one is the power source. Um, I think I'm just gonna like skip right past that. Just show y'all the final the final look. But um, I just gotta get these right cores into the right place right now. So that's what I'm focusing on right now. Um, I just got the um, graphics card and then I got the power source that I gotta do. So. I'm gonna, you know, come right back, you know, and show you what I got so far. I'm about to just finish watching the video because I do not want this video to be too long for y'all. 
Um, I just want to show you, uh, you know, some of what I'm doing right now. So I just got the power source and the graphics card, and um, I'm ready to show you all that right now. Now we got the uh, power source. I got the RM850. I went with 850 because this is going to be a powerful PC, guys. So I need a lot of power to power it up and um, do the stuff that I really want to do on YouTube. So let's open this up. And um, it comes with, you know, wires. And it comes with white wires. So actually, it's going to look nice with the, you know, the white aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? And also, I got a white um, power supply. First time opening it up. You know? Okay, guys. So, I've been watching videos since I've been doing this build. When I first started making this build, it was like around 6 o'clock. Now it's like 11. Trying to figure it out. So I just got done putting the wires that I need with the power source. And I also connect the power source to it. So you can see right here, this is the power source. I literally just connected to it. And here's the wires that the video said that I need the other ones, like these right here. He said I don't need them, but we're gonna figure it out. Um, but right now I am about to install the hard drive. So I got a four terabyte hard drive. You know, I do a lot of stuff with video and I store a lot of stuff on the computer. So this is gonna go straight to the hard drive. Um, all the stuff that's on my laptop going to this hard drive um, But I'm about to install that right now. Okay guys, so I just got done doing all the wires for the PC um, It took a little time it took a little time, but I finally got it You know, so I watched a couple videos of you know What kind of wires should I connect it to for this type of um, motherboard actually? um so I just got done. I, you can see a wire going from right here. Go, I got a couple down here. I tried my best to hide them because I don't want to show them. But this, you know, having the uh, the LED lights coming on is going to look really, really nice. Um, but I'm on the last section of this PC build, um, second to last. But I'm about to connect the graphics card. So this is the money maker right here after that i'm going to like do cable management trying to tuck all these wires in and um make it look neat and then basically i'm done the next process after that is connecting my monitor to the pc you know boot some things download the little windows 10 all the extra stuff guys so right now i'm about to go look at this video finish watching the video and see how to connect the graphics card Wish me good luck. Okay, guys. So, as you can see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit into it. Um, I just connected the graphics card to the PC. I, I think I took one of the plugs out from right here, but I'm about to check and you know finish the video and see if that was the plug that I was missing um, to you know connect the uh, graphics card. But they're looking so nice so far. Like I'm, I'm so happy that um I, I took the time to be patient, um building this PC. Um, but I think I'm almost done. All right, guys, look, look, look. I am finally done building my PC, guys. It took me like over seven hours to build this, man. And I just want to say thank you for all that everybody that's been watching this whole video um seeing how i'm going to do it you know what i'm saying so although i've been watching a video of how to do it i think i did a good job on my first try building a pc i got the graphics card i got the fans working i got the um rgb um ram right here so my last thing i do want to do is to turn it on and see if it works really really well um 
if y'all can see behind here is this cable sticking out out the side right here and I don't I don't want I don't want to show y'all that but I'm about to I'm already plugged it in I already plugged it in I'm about to just turn it on and show y'all real quick so let's see if it works okay a little flash a little flash happened just now I'm gonna push the button on top okay no way no way hold on everything is working inside here y'all look like all the fans all the rgb like everything right now i'm going to give you a closely close look There you have it guys, my first PC built. Um, I hope you, hopefully you enjoyed this whole video. Um, if you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get over 40 likes on this one if you really enjoyed this one. And also, if you're new to this channel, go in here and subscribe. And also press that bell to notify you each time I upload a video. And while you're at it guys, go follow me on my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And yes, I am new on TikTok. So go follow me there at Whammy Ham. I finally did it. This is a new chapter for this channel, guys. It's like a lot of things I want to do for this channel. And um, this is just the start of it by building this PC. And y'all going to just see a big improvement um, with my content in future videos. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that support me throughout the years. It just we just going up now. So I will see you guys in the next one. Whammyham is out. Peace. Just what only they told Cause they feel they should explode